to make another ebook to get rich again. Do you know what I mean? I love all that stuff. I really do love that stuff. I think it's absolutely hilarious. Anyway, moving on from that. Moving on. I saw this on social media and it got me thinking overall as to why possibly a place like Bergheim hasn't decided to maybe double down and kind of offer this stuff more um, for customers. Like, I wonder what the reason is behind not doing this. And this is a post that's kind of gone somewhat viral on my side of the internet featuring um, the DJ Adil who is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Italian and kind of plays a lot in Berlin and whatnot. And she's out here wearing this really, really nice Berghain t-shirt. It's got the Berghain logo on the back and then it's got Berghain written in red with the logo in black on a mild grey. There's something about that combo. Maybe it kind of reminds me of the classic Supreme Box logo hoodie. The best, the best one, basically, which is the grey pullover hoodie that's got the red box logo with the white font. It kind of reminds me of that kind of makeup, but I still think, you know, there's something about heather grey t-shirts in general that kind of just sit right with me from my kind of, you know, streetwear aesthetic. But this t-shirt, I think, is pretty perfect and pretty sick. And I think it would look incredible on a hoodie as well. Just imagine this logo with the Bergheim logo and the Bergheim text. And then you just have maybe the logo in, in the front, really small, in the middle of the chest. And then the logo, like, just, or maybe on the side of the chest, how good that would look. It would look incredible. And for some reason, for some reason, this is not available online. Now, I don't know if they gave this to her to wear to kind of promote and put it out there because as you can see from my side of the internet, it's kind of gone a bit crazy. She's already got 2,000 plus people liking it. The comments on there, people asking, look, always wanted one of these color, flame, flame, flames. Loads of people are clearly, you know, enamored with it and pretty much going to be wanting one. And of course, as most of these big DJs do, they never fucking answer quite. This is, this is kind of a little pet peeve of mine, but there's something about these people, these high these like really famous DJs out here, especially in the scene where I think that they have like an odd contempt for their fans or they kind of treat them. I don't know. Maybe they think they're better than their fans or something. I don't know what it is about some of these DJs. They have a weird ego because I know it's not that deep. Again, please forgive me for analyzing this sort of stuff, but this DJ, right? is has how many followers? She's got 120,000 followers. So she, again, you know, she's pretty popular on social media. Let's not lie, but still like, would it really bother her? Would it really kind of cost her any time to quickly reply to this one comment here that says, oh, they have the t-shirts back in stock, question mark? Not even a like, not even a little reply, zero, nothing, no engagement, no nothing. Just put the post up, let people like and leave you comments and double heart and shit, but you don't reply or give them any sort of love in any way, shape or form. And the reason why I say that kind of annoys me is because, you know, I've had the pleasure of kind of bumping into people like harry styles right at flipping random bars in dawson somewhere where he's being hounded by loads of flipping annoying hipsters trying to get pictures with him trying to buy him a drink girls trying to flirt with him guys trying to get you know flipping ids on his flipping guji jacket i've seen him out and about and that guy let me tell you he's a flipping gentleman a pro he he does that thing that a lot of kind of really high level celebrities do where they make it seem like you're the center of the world in that kind of really brief interaction that you have and then they just keep it moving he's never kind of still always moving always kind of in, but you always feel like he's kind of engaging and re, you know replying back to his fans and kind of having communication whereas i feel like a lot of these people like if you if you shouted her name out as you're standing in a queue and she walked past you i feel like she might turn around and look at you like you know you're kind of shit on the bottom of her shoe <laughs> you know what i mean i don't know why they have this kind of ego about them it's really strange i think it's kind of represented re represented or representative of kind of how they are reflective sorry in how they kind of communicate with their fans on their social media because i'm sure if i go on her page i can find loads of posts where people are asking her questions like actual questions hey i love that song in that clip you posted hey what's the track id for this mix hey will you be releasing this record and i bet you none of them have got replies but this is a, such an easy question to say like no um, or just put a, a, a reply with an emoji, like do something, but absolutely zero, no love, no love. And I absolutely hate it. I don't, I, I don't see how Harry Styles can, you know, can be, you know, has the time to reply back to his fans and give them double hearts on comments. But these guys don't, I can't stand it. Anyway, that aside, the t-shirt is sick. I'd want to see it in a hoodie. I'd want to see it in a long sleeve or a jumper somewhere. Um, but for some reason, when you go on the Bergheim website, I know it's a little bit, um, what you call it, not safe as work and shit. But for some reason, they don't really try to kind of like push the merch out too much. They make it when they make it. Whatever's available is available. But there's not really a push to kind of 
make a lot of it, which is interesting because Bergheim's again the num the world's most famous, you know, nightclub. Um, it's definitely the number one nightclub for me and the kind of music that I'm into. And there's a loads of flipping really, really passionate fans about of the club like myself, um, who would I think legitimately spend a pretty penny on you know getting the latest and greatest flipping merch from Bergheim even if it was made this way if they put out a lot, a lot more of this sort of stuff especially in that sort of colorway that would sell like hotcakes whereas the stuff they have available looks like all the old stuff that didn't really maybe sell that well but the actual thing that I think works well the one with the, that Bergheim logo which I think might be this one here actually that's in black I'm surprised they don't make more of it. Like, this is really nice as well, right? This one, it's got the Bergheim logo and it's got Bergheim written on the back. What size is available? It's only available in girls, so it's all sold out. So clearly there's not been a lot of it made. And I wonder why they decide not to do it. I wonder if this is like a them not wanting to sell out and keep it kind of pure and about the music and not make it a tourism type of thing and you know not wanting to like not wanting to turn the Bergheim t-shirt into like the I love New York sort of thing. Maybe that's a vibe they don't want to do because maybe if they think if they start doing this and pushing out the merch, you start getting loads of unofficial bootlegger type places shifting, you know, loads of merch, unofficial stuff with Bergheim logos all over it. I'm not really too sure. But I'm also sure there's probably people out there who probably make their own Bergheim merch that they kind of wear themselves. But I'm just surprised they don't push it more because I feel like a lot of people would definitely wear it. Like these Banaclavas aren't too bad, but I definitely would... Um, be um on it for sure if they decided to put out merch similar to what this ideal lady is wearing here on this flipping picture that's a heather gray with the black logo um red text in Bergheim. it's absolutely fantastic but yeah um big up them anyway regardless even if they don't want to make it i'm still going to be there anyway in it just flipping perusing and making sure my voice is heard <laughs> 